Hello and welcome to Library Revisited. In the previous video, we have seen how we can create multiple types of URLs. Like we have created an action URL, then we have created a render URL. And then we have uh, kind of looked into a basic flow of a live report lit, like how a render URL is called and what happens when an action URL is called. In this tutorial, we are going to create a form and then we are going to fetch those values in the action method and then we will look into further how we can save that in the database so to start with let's start creating a form so to create a form we are going to use uh, a ui taglib uh, this is again a taglib which is provided by liferay and you can utilize to create forms using this so if you see we have already uh, created one over here uh, added a taglib over here I'll go back and let's start making it. So the name of the form we can give, uh, let's try it as FM or something like that. Then we will write as action. Action is going to be our this URL, which we just created like employee, save employee URL. So I'll just copy and paste it out over here. So uh, that's here my basic URL. Now let's put something over here like create slash edit employee details can something like this we can write just to create a form h1 and then again we will close this h1 now there is another tag lab and uh, aui that we can use which is known as input so we are going to utilize that and let's close it and another parameter we will add over here is name and we will give the name so let's quickly look into the service.xml and see what all things do we need to add so we need to add name address phone number salary so i'll just start with writing name and let's start with copying and pasting it out and then what we are going to have is we are going to have address over here Then we need phone number. Salary. Email address. And let's write DOJ and DOL, which is date of joining and date of leaving. Date of leaving. Another thing that we are going to add is AUI button row. Uh, this will create a button row and then we are going to add a button uh, of type submit. So now let's have a look uh, how exactly this form looks like uh, when we view this on the front page. So we'll just wait and look into uh, this publishing. As soon as this gets published, we'll go ahead and look into our Chrome. So let's set localhost 8080. and go to our employee page. And then let's click on create employee. Over here we see that uh, Liferay has created a form. So uh, we have this create edit employee details, then address, then phone number, then salary, then email address, date of joining and date of leaving. So let's start with uh, we can uh, we can write something over here and then click on save once we are clicking on this save uh, our url is going to be called which is our save employee in turn this save employee is going to call this save action command and then uh, we'll see what exactly uh, is the value that we are receiving so so we'll fetch these values using a life phrase class which is param util dot get um then uh, we can use a portlet request one for a string so yeah let's use that over here we will give action request then over here we will give the name and then the default value whatever we want to give so i'll just again copy and paste it so let's start with 
a name now let's use address and phone number salary email address and the last one would be date of joining and date of leaving of joining so everything as of now is being considered as an string but depending upon what we have given we can choose to have a long for this one so let's give it salary would be a long so let's give the value over here default as zero and that's it so now I'll give define as salary rest would be all a string and we have address we have phone number and we have address and I have a typo over here so I'll just go over here and click like this string then in the same way let's have date of living string date of joining all right perfect so we have everything now now let's just bring print them name plus address so let's just copy like this so yeah let's do like this I copy something like this so that it would be easier although there are more, much more shortcuts address then we have phone number then we would be having salary then yeah email address then we would be having URL and then DOJ Let's just keep a gap so that it would be easier for us to understand. All right, let's just remove everything else and now let's just wait for it to get redeployed. So now what we are going to do is we are going to go over here on employee and then click on create employee and let's start filling in some details. Sample user, sample employee, address is sample address, sample phone number, salary is 10. Um, sample at the rate of gmail.com then date of joining let's say 11 12 2008 and date of leaving is let's say 2020 and then just click on save so you'll see the request has been completed and let's come up over here we'll see that all of the details which we have persisted uh, in the form we have uh, submitted in the form they are over here so in the next video what we are going to do is we are going to utilize these values and save them in a in the database uh, using this service XML that we have created earlier and then let's see how it works thanks a lot for tuning in bye bye